Yesterday, there were sheep in that pen. Today, there's a mini excavator. Let me tell you why. All right, guys, Papa Pepper, back again. Just impressed with the way life work out, works out sometimes. Um, we got a lot going on. Like I said, I'm trying to do three things at once, which is uh, prepare a place for me and my family to live, prepare a place for animals to be and take care of the animals, and create and maintain a garden. And uh, the part with the sheep in behind me, you know, was something I just did recently because I'm like, look, the house site's gonna be prepared soon. I'm gonna want this area clear. If it looks like this stuff behind me, but it's a bunch of knee-deep uh, poison ivy and stuff, that ain't gonna help me at all. So, I fenced in to let these uh, sheep and a couple goats take care of it. Now, I'm luring them out of here. And they're coming out pretty well. Got some feed. And uh, I'll feed them over here, close this gate. And now I can put in a root cellar there, guys. I wasn't even thinking a root cellar was anything that was near in my future, but all of a sudden, right, Mini X shows up out of nowhere. And uh, now I've got the opportunity to build a root cellar, so. You know, if I hadn't done this, this place would be nowhere near even something I'd want to be working in or dealing with. But now, hey guys, check these guys out. Right, that one's Rambo. Rambo, what's going on? A crazy horns is next to him and Blaze. But Rambo's a beautiful, beautiful beast. So we're gonna dial on the genetics of these guys and try to get the horn situation straightened out. But uh, all right, let's get them the grain. We got work to do. Let's build a root cellar, right? How many of you guys have built root cellars before? I have, and I'm just glad I don't really have to do it the way that my ancestors used to. Um, I would, seriously. Even when I started clearing land and doing other things, I grabbed a chop saw, a hand saw, and an axe and started going at it. And you know, bluer than green next door is like jumping out of skid steer, pushing over trees, doing other things. I'm like, you know, that's a little aggressive. That's a little whatever. I was, I was inexperienced, but. Uh, now I see the blessing that heavy machinery can be when properly used. So I'm just trying to learn how to properly use it. All right, sheep, let's get fed. Let's get fed. So I missed one goat when I was at it. Come on, wild. I think she's pregnant, which is good because that would mean Crockett did his job. Because his job is just to get, just to get the goats pregnant. So I just used a couple of these simple clips temporarily attach a cattle panel over the opening and uh, I don't got to worry about my sheep or goats escaping. Uh, this is a temporary fence anyway but a while ago guys you can see how high all these little sticks are around. And they're you know anywhere between a foot to two and a half feet tall and they were completely covered in leaves. A lot of this stuff down near the bottom I couldn't couldn't even see. This is nothing but solid sticks here. So ticks, chiggers, all sorts of stuff. Now, I've got a couple options. Some of these I chainsawed off. You can see the ones I chainsawed off. Some of them I dug up. So my guess is, if I go where I dug stuff up already, I'm gonna run into less problems than if I go where the stumps are. So I'm gonna clean up a little of this by hand. Put my stuff on a pile, come in with a grapple hook, pick up the stumps, move them out of the way. I got a large pile of them drying out down there, will burn eventually. And then I'll start putting the root cellar in somewhere in this general area. So, we'll see guys. Exciting, moving forward. It's progress.
now that that's cleaned up, we just gotta take down some of this fence so we can get our uh, Mini X in here. And that's kinda gonna be the site right there. We'll see if we can't do it now. The house and the mobile home site will be north and west from there. Um, which is kind of the way that the storms come. So I'll probably have this facing south, um, which means you'll just have to run around it to get in. Whether you're unloading or loading canned goods or whether there's a storm coming. But uh, it'll be here, it'll be close, and uh, should work out pretty good. Pretty good. I think uh, we put the root cellar there, got a road going back there to another part of the property, put in our outside shower. That'll be a cool project. Whoa! There, we should be pretty good. So I think I'm just gonna take down this one piece of fence here. Maybe that'll give me enough room to work with. And uh, well, we'll see. This is where the claw machine and all those quarters that spend as a kid trying to get that fuzzy little blue t uh, teddy bear are gonna pay off right here.
break time at the moment, and uh, you know, 11, 12 foot hole isn't exactly what I need. But I got a plan, and I'm working on it. So, wasn't planning on doing a root cellar now, but we are. We'll see how it goes. So far, I think it's going all right, so we'll check it out. guys if you notice now one pile two pile we got two big piles why do we got two big piles because we're going bigger going bigger spend some time talking it over with mama pepper because uh, this is not a one-man show it's a family show it's a one man and one woman show with some kids okay so to figure it out got to figure it out together so of course got my wonderful pile of rocks a wonderful pile of dirt big old hole another pile of rocks another pile of dirt and, uh, and here's what it looks like so far. It's, uh, it's down there, for sure. And the thing we're thinking is, you know, it needs to be so deep. It needs to be so long. It needs to be so wide. But we gotta frame this in. We're gonna pour concrete on the outside. Different stuff like that. So I'm like, okay. So we're just trying to figure it out at the moment. Get this thing going. Um, like I said, it's, it's quite a hole. So I'm just gonna go a little bit wider and we wanna be able to comfortably walk down the middle, maybe even a couple of us because we're a family with uh, seven people in it. So a couple people might run in to get something or might be putting away canned pickles or something like that. And then uh, with it being a storm shelter too, we wanna be able to fit the whole family in here comfortably in the event of inclement weather, weather and uh, doing so. Um, I think I'm gonna leave like a couple shelves open near the bottom that are wide enough where we can throw a kid with a sleeping bag on them. You know what I mean? Storm, middle of the night, coming in. Okay, here, grab your sleeping bag, grab a pillow. I just kind of tuck them away in some shelves while I sit there in the chair and talk to Mom and Pepper eating, you know, canned pickles or noodle beans or something like that. So that's where we're at. It's going well, and uh, we'll see what happens. So far, so good. That's a, that's a whole lot of hole. I never made a hole so big in all my life. Let's see if I can get into it without falling. Okay, looks like we're going down, folks. Okay, so it's got a hump in the middle, which I should be able to level into some of these things. If I'm standing here, I got two feet above my head at least. 
So right here it's about eight feet deep. Um, we'll have to see how I do this. Never done any of this before, but right now I'm just gonna take out some of these sections here where there's, let me see, there we go. Where there's extra stuff that can come out. Um, throw the rocks out of here, I guess. Try to level out the middle part, which that isn't gonna be able to reach anymore. And we'll go from there. Look at that, guys. Way up there, what is it? There it is. Toss it in the hole, child. Just don't fall. All right, I got my work cut out for me. You wanna come around and grab the camera? Thank you, child. At the moment, I think I might be done with the mini X. I didn't dig my uh, little plant holes for my seedlings, which I should really be getting in within this next week. They should have got in this spring, but life sometimes you can only do so much in one life if you want to sleep too. So here we go. Got some huge mounds of dirt. Okay, got a lot of rocks. So oh, man, impressive, impressive. And that's only half of it. And then here's my guy. Here is my hole. I don't know. Some of that looks 13, 14 feet deep. So I'm gonna try to level it up by hand now. I'm gonna call it good on the edges and we'll see what we can do for uh, setting up some forms. Filling this thing, uh, making a concrete bottom, concrete walls, concrete lids, I guess. All right, I don't know. When it comes to things like this that you've never done before and you get a chance to do, do the best you can. Uh, I don't know. Never, never thought even two days ago this would be what I was doing today. But apparently it can be done. It can be done. So between this, the pond, everything else, I got a lot of straightening out to do. All right, guys. Papa Pepper in the trenches. Wide variety of tools behind me. On the bright side, at least it's cool down here. Um, not like up where the kids are, where it's still nice and hot. But we got this thing pretty good. Right now, I'm just working on leveling it. So there was a big hump here in the middle where the, uh, the backhoe wouldn't reach exactly. By the time I got there, there was a hump there. And this is kind of the high point. That's kind of the low point. So I'm just trying to shift it around right now get it to be wherever it needs to be. I can pour the floor, maybe, maybe that's how they do this, pour the floor first, and then frame in the outside, and then, um, yeah, concrete. So it's, it's so nice and cool down here already, and uh, all we are is just, you know, down eight feet in the dirt, and uh, uh, this is the part by hand, too, where, uh, Whew, I'm glad I didn't dig the whole thing by hand, but if I would have been digging by hand, I wouldn't have dug four feet past in some spots. Just wouldn't have happened. But it's easy enough with the machine, so we'll fill it now. And then, uh, I can't wait. I think we'll definitely have room here, though, for a family of seven, plus uh, you know, a year or two supply of food, whatever we got canned goods. Like I said, I'll leave a couple bunks open and have somewhere for kids to sleep in case we're down here for a tornado or something. So I don't know how I'm gonna get that cup of water, 
but we'll figure that out next. All right, I'll keep you guys posted. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people, where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.